welcome back. We have the indigenous Indigenous Youth Housing Manager joining us today, Nata Kabak. It's great to have you on the show again. How are you? Good. How are you? I really you? boofed that again. Oh, that's okay. That's <laughs> How okay. are you? I'm doing really well. Good, good. Yeah. Uh, as many people know, a fantastic new development taking shape on the North Shore. Uh, where are things at? And maybe you can remind people a little bit more about the housing development. Sure. So we're building a 31 unit apartment building for Indigenous youth in care or who've aged out of care and elders. And so we, uh, we have all the approvals we need now from the city of Kamloops and we're moving forward now and it looks like we'll be breaking ground in the fall weather permitting. So, nice. You just yeah. had some meetings this morning on yeah, it. Yeah, we just um, had a design meeting this morning. We meet every two weeks now, so that's with everybody, and we're just finishing up our drawings to completion, and it's really exciting. That's really awesome. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so that's the, the good news update, which of course is something that's going to really be uh, life-changing for people that get the opportunity to be living there. Yes. Um, we're also talking today about something that has made headlines earlier in the week here, uh, Lac de Bois. Uh, we have pictures of this sign uh, that was put up uh, in regard to, I believe, mushroom picking. Yes. Um, anyway, I think we have the pictures. Here we go. Uh, showing the Chiquetmic territory, uh, but somebody came along with their red spray paint can and really, really messed up. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, it's gone. Good. They have, they Good. have taken it away. I think it was the, the first day it was discovered they took it away, but we can see here what it says. Indian, Indian, F at the top. Uh, there was other stuff. I know something about white is right. You can read it in there. Anyways, this must just make your hair stand on Ann Yes. Yeah, so this uh, this picture I, I took on the day before Canada Day, and it, my daughter and I, uh, she's six. We were going up to Isabel Lake because they have the accessible trail now, and I thought it'd be nice to go up there and see it. And as we're driving in, I see this sign, and... Uh, I couldn't believe it. Um, I'm an Indigenous person. My daughter is Hui at First Nations. So I got out and took a picture of it, and it was devastating. And my daughter, she's learning how to read. She said, um, why did they swear on that sign? Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, the parks people kind of pulled up beside me. I think they were wondering, I'm assuming, they were wondering what I was doing. I wasn't doing anything. And then they drove away and I think probably gave tickets to the dirt bikers or whatever. But the whole ride up, I just cried and cried um, because it's hard not to internalize that racism. And when I got home, I posted it and then it, it went viral, I guess. And um, and I've seen it a few times. So Chief Dr. Ronald Ignace from Skeetison uh, wrote a, a post about it. And then Jeffrey McNeil from Thompson Rivers University wrote a post about it, mm -hmm. which I think is excellent. It's been taken down. Uh, unfortunately, um, that re there was a report on that sign a week before I saw it and it had been taken down. So um, it was just it was it was horrible and even seeing it again i, I it just brings up so much for mm -hmm, me mm -hmm. and just right before canada day right before this housing project and just thinking even with kikek yelka place of belonging how controversial it was you know um just around uh i don't know just the racism that was a lot more implicit Mm -hmm. surrounding that project so uh chief yeah. ronick is saying that he he agrees understands that yeah. the general public out there people are quite accepting and quite understanding yeah. but he knows that th there's also a few bad eggs in the group uh, that that make it terrible and, and that is absolutely reprehensible as that word has been used before yeah. talking about that sign um but I, I i hope that you see it as a, a few outstanding individuals that are obviously not in, oh, in good uh, taste yes that's right yeah. um but i i do have questions why yes. that was allowed to be up at the entrance of a provincial park. I have questions how many people or how many staff drove by it and then how many people actually drove by it. The general public's a very a popular place. I don't know how many people I drove by, but just how long it was there. How long for. was it there? You seem to think it was several days. Well, I was told that there was a report made on that sign a week before I posted a picture mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. So there had been nothing done. So at least a week or so, right? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as uh, the picture went around, I think it was taken down the next day. Mm -hmm. So As soon as social media got a hold of it, there's more pressure, mm -hmm. but it should have been taken down earlier. And I certainly That's hope right. 
that those responsible either turn themselves in or, uh, you know, somehow the information is brought out as to who did this. Because, you know what, we're way past that. I'd like to think we're way past that yeah. in today's society. Yeah, me too. Um, we are almost done here. We've got about 30 seconds. But um, anything you want to end on a more of a, a happy note in regard to the, the development going on? Groundbreaking, uh, you said that's coming up soon? In the fall. In the Hopefully fall. Hopefully it's going to happen in the fall. Yeah. Um, so at Lee Michefotoknesowak Family Community Services, we're still looking for for foster families, right? So we're, and um, that would be wonderful if there's anyone interested in doing that to give us a call. Um, let's see what else. What else? Um, how many seconds do I have left now? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> let's just laugh because um, we'll laugh our way out. Yeah, well, yeah. But thank you so much for for today. I great really having you here. It. And you know what? Natika appears with us every month uh, and it's great to have you here. It's great to get your viewpoint on things. It's important. So thank you thank for taking you. the time. Merci. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Merci is French for thank you. What is it? What are you saying? Um, so yeah, Marcy. Marcy. So, so um, Michif is a mix between Cree and French, typically. Okay, yeah, so it's like kind of like Merci, but it's Marcy. Okay, yeah. we, got a, we got a new one. Marcy, thank Marcy, you. Yeah. <laughs> Quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.